Afternoon. The Royal Navy has staged a dare from there, sir. Run to X. Five, four, three, two. The graphics workshop. Graphics in television news show the most visible of technological changes. A marked contrast to the scene a few years ago. Uh, yes, well, if we use this as a background yeah. and um, something similar to this, um, as a superimposition with your block of figures, and um, <coughs> animate the uh, second, second line. Cardboard and celluloid for maps and charts. Sign writer's freehand in the design. And an embossing machine to print the type for captions. The graphics area looked like a decorator's paint shop. Now, the paint pots have disappeared. With today's equipment, the graphic designer can mix his colors on an electronic palette using a stylus. Having perfected his orange, he transfers it to the map he's preparing for the six o'clock news. Everything he needs is available from the menu which comes up on his monitor. The digital paint box has replaced brushes and paints. A major advantage of digital graphics is that the designer does not need to know anything about electronics or computers. Using stylus instead of paintbrush and screen instead of canvas, he can remain creative in the traditional way. In fact, his imaginative scope has been increased by the electronics. The graphics revolution is still unfolding. <laughs> <laughs> 